Okej, okay, siemanko ludzkie, z tej nas witam serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z gameplayami i trailerami i lecimy dalej i zaczynamy od Outlast, Outlast Trials, dwa ostatnie w sumie trailery, które nam zostały bodajże, albo trzy chyba bodajże, jakoś tak, jakoś tak do obejrzenia i, no i cała reszta, nie? więc zaczynajmy, nie przedłużajmy. Pięć lat, kurde, nieźle. So you're doing the trials with your friends in a situation against NPCs that are trying to kill you. It's gonna be a hard time in the shit house now. And the person that kidnapped by Murkoff and put in this environment where I'm supposed to complete the therapy until they release me back into society. It's that journey. How am I gonna stay alive so I can earn my freedom back? The job of a game designer is trying to figure out which ideas are the best, but also which ideas work the best together. Quand on qu'on met dans un environnement quatre joueurs qui peuvent pas se défendre, pour qu'il y ait peur, pour que le challenge soit bon, pour que ce soit trop intense. On a mis l'emphase sur le building, sur les entrées, les options que le joueur peut prendre, l'éclairage aussi. Puis ça, tout le verre, c'est où ce qu'il va regarder? C'est les places où il peut regarder. Ah, aussi. cool, OK. Le gros challenge, ça a été de garder la vibe Outlast euh, au travers d'une expérience coopérative, notamment qu'on fait peur aux joueurs quand ils sont quatre. À chaque fois que le joueur passe, il y a une chance que ça fasse un, un jump scare aux joueurs. We're giving players a bunch of tools. When you see an enemy, you still want to run away from him. But if he's really close, then maybe you can, there's something you can throw at him to slow him down temporarily while you're running. Créer le mode dans Outlast Trials, le challenge, comparativement à un jeu qui est plus single player, c'est pour créer des événements où ce que les joueurs aussi vont se séparer. Les joueurs vont aller faire un gameplay dans leur coin, puis ils vont se ramasser seuls. On veut que tant que ceux qui veulent l'expérience solo, que l'expérience à plusieurs joueurs peuvent profiter pleinement du jeu. I'm gonna be witnessing an enemy do something, maybe I'm communicate with my friend, uh, ask him to do an objective meanwhile, maybe I create a distraction. Oh, uh, Ouf. during a play session, we do that uh, twice a week. So it allows us to experience the game as a player and we're taking a bunch of notes of things we No, czyli jednak deweloperzy grają w swoje gry. Nie tak jak Blizzard. <laughs> helps us to focus on what is like top priority. Et juste là j'arrive. Oh, that's right. Shit. Ouais, non, je m'en. Je m'en. Yeah, I think everyone is very excited about the future and I think everyone is pumped to just fix everything and make the best experience possible. Quelqu'un est là, dans son sous-sol, et il est fermé. Ça marche. Ouf. Dobra. On te pokaże, co tam jeszcze jest ciekawego. Tak, teraz jest ten, dobra. Dobrze leci. A i tak się coś z kaszeniem było moim zdaniem na całej tej playlisty, nie? We finally got the money to start production of the very first Outlast. We were we released the trailer. I've been waiting for this game for a long time and holy crud! No, what is going on? And we had to start managing the relationship with the fans. We had to create like a, our own channel or on Facebook page. These things were all new to us. And also we were reading in the comments like, oh, I cannot wait for uh, uh, such and such streamer to uh, try the game. And this was at the beginning of the wave of uh, streamers playing games, having people watch them play games. So we kind of rode that wave very early on. 
<gasps> people like to watch other people being scared. Okay, farewell. Open, 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 run, 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 what are you doing? get very dedicated and passionate fans and so we try to nurture that uh, relationship um a library can we go in the library yes we can <laughs> we watch the clips of people analyzing the game there was no community manager at the time we had no experience with this i'm rosemary i'm the community manager at red barrels i'll do all the social media content all the planning of the content communicating with players on all social media platforms uh, we're also people who get to know our players and kind of try to be an advocate for them you're not just fostering a community but you're also trying to keep everyone understanding what's going on behind the scenes with your developers and the process of making a game as a community manager i do feel like i am that barrier between players and devs So they have uh, an objective and it's to do this generator and part of the generator is a skill check where like you need to hit it at the right spot but what they see is all red so they can't see where they need to hit it. It's a bug. They should just leave and come back and that's what I typed out to them. Like this is the way it's supposed to look and you're getting a bug, it's all red, it's not normal. Remember this is a closed beta. The process is to find these issues and fix them. It's a conversation with the fans. You know, we give them something, they react and then we reply. And uh, I think that's how you create uh, you know, great content, and especially with the new game. Oh, bardzo fajnie, że mają kontakt z community całym. Trzeba przyznać. People are constantly trying to like piece things together, and sometimes creating something out of nothing. What on earth is going on here? But at the same time, it's like, how did they get to this? I call them super sleuths. They'll piece things together, and you're like. Whoa, and that's kind of like what Outlast is. You're getting these little tidbits of information as you're running through the game. We want people to investigate and delve into that mystery. Possibly Vernick has used whatever he's figured out on Easterman to make him, I guess, fall in love with him. I mean, he could be bisexual, I don't know. Everybody has a different relationship with a different character in Outlast. So we've seen a lot of really cool cosplays and really cool fan art from cute, bubbly versions of these terrifying characters to like really nice painted art. It's also interesting to see how people perceived that character and what they end up imposing about them. This creature was in fact the embodiment of how he saw Lautemil, a grotesque monster. It really is kind of a sign of a healthy community when you do see people like drawing and like being creative, like using the characters you made to fuel their own creativity. It needs to be a process of getting feedback from our players, being understanding, transparent, and empathetic with them, and having them do the same for us too. <laughs> okay. Oof. Material. The new game Atlas Trials takes place in 1959, so it's uh, really uh, in the middle of a Cold War. So we came up with this idea that Murkoff has this huge anger and create an environment to train the soldiers, which is something that the army did back in the days. So Murkoff is building these fake movie sets that drives most of the uh, artistic direction uh, visually. For example, these old Western movies, you know, you would see just the facade of the saloon, but nothing uh, on the other side of, so it's, it's kind of the same, uh, the same idea. The job is to do the visuals of the game's modeling, lighting, whatever is related to what you're gonna see in terms of the environment. The way the game was first pitched to me, actually in my like hiring interview, was, you know, like the scene in Indiana Jones when he's like in the ghost town with like mannequins and stuff. That's the pitch. And I was immediately like hooked and I was like, oh yeah, I can really see that the whole simulation aspect and like a rat in a maze. Everything that can serve the fact that we're in the 1950s, we embrace it, uh, such as the dressing codes, the cars. We need to like dive into the 50s. We need to think about what was the telephone into this era. The thing that's very different in this uh, new game 
uh, compared to the old ones is that the notion of trials allows us to create very different environment for each trials. Probably the most important signature visually is the night vision. That means that there has to be a minimum amount of uh, area of darkness in every, every game. That's the foundation. Sometimes we kind of have to stretch the truth because like night vision already existed by this point, but it was uh, always like very bulky designs. Uh, so we kind of have to stretch reality in that way. If someone asks me to create a hallway, uh, why do I need to know? It's uh, what happened there? Was there a murder? Just someone who put stuff on the ground? We spent a lot of time on the design of every object just to make sure it's as beautiful and as functional as it can be. Tous les, les répertoires d'objets qu'on trouve, par exemple, des, euh, des radios. Qu'est-ce que c'est une radio des années 50? Ben, moi, j'ai répertorié plein de modèles au, au fil de mes recherches. Fait que, quand j'ai besoin d'avoir une radio, je vais dans mon répertoire ici, puis j'en ai plein. Là. We always try to go and get that kind of clunky feeling, that prototype feeling. It's really fun to like do something that looks as dangerous for like the enemies as it is for you. And that's a nice contrast with like everything that is used by Merc of Personal Wear. It's going to be way more clean, way more functional, way more finished. On a nos propres marques fictives qu'on a éparpillées un peu partout. Ici, j'ai le mur de médicaments de, de la pharmacienne. C'est d'aller chercher des marques qui n'existent pas, par exemple, Dr. Dallaire ou euh, J'utilise souvent euh, ma petite marque qui s'appelle euh, Spatlin. Tu sais, de Medical Salt. <rire> sur des props comme euh, GF Duval, mais c'est GF Duval, c'est Trina. On est vraiment content quand les joueurs sont capables de connecter les dots parce que des fois, on va vraiment cacher des affaires dans des endroits impossibles. Patrice avait vendu un peu la mèche avec Spatlin. Là, les gens ils ont commencé à réaliser que ça se retrouvait partout dans Hotlast, cette compagnie-là. C'était plus gros que Merca. J'ai mis un magazine qui va se retrouver peut-être quatre fois dans le jeu, je sais pas. Puis j'ai marqué est-ce que c'est la fin de Spatlin <rire>
This is my favorite part. Didn't expect to see me up here, did you? Mad Maggie's bringing the beats. Ready yourself. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'll fight till from my bones my flesh be hacked. To me, allies. I will not fall today. Be glad you didn't meet me in my youth. for a worthy opponent. What is my telling me now? Oh. I po sprawie. Diablo 4, Server Slam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. In the MCA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jam, jam. Ever space two. Okay, buckle up. For spoken in Tanta we trust DLC. Z matką, kurde, tutaj jakiś ten delcek. Marvel's Midnight Suns Bloodstorm DLC Blood A year ago, the professor detected a mutant living here A fierce young woman named Dahlia According to the orphanage, she disappeared three months ago Do you think the vampires are hunting this child? The city's most vulnerable population is being erased. Mutants and humans alike. What are you so busy defending, Storm? These cast-offs are not your family. Why bother protecting society's dregs? If we're going to take on Sin and find Dali, we need the reinforcements. Look to the skies. Ooh, what the kill? She was Angela. Powolutku. Powolutku mia niedziela. Bardzo dobrze. Enhance.
protect the children at any cost. El Drácula. That was half my power. Hmm. Było tylko połowa mojej mocy. Naprawdę? Przechwałki. Przechwałki. Dobra. Co my mamy dalej? Fortnite X Star Wars? U, kolab jakiś. U. Yes. Darth Vader. A jak tam u ciebie, Angela? Hmm? Jak tam u ciebie? Find the force. Pięknie. Coverin... Co? Convergence? League of Legends? I'm you. Tak. From the future. I'm here to investigate something in the past. So Zahn is in trouble right now? If you would just listen, we'll be keeping the city safe from a devastating future. Well, if it isn't the boy who shattered time. There is a war coming. I don't know what happens in the future, but it's not up to you to fix the world all by yourself. He's been coming back to the past over and over again, trying to fix something in our timeline. We've all got him, Echo. The first fight you have to beat is with yourself. This isn't over. Not yet. Okay, that's for Mufka. I'm trying to save both of our cities from a disastrous fate. Is this why you're today? Austrian investigator. Twoje dzieła. Honor Regents. Pięknie. Pięknie, pięknie. Destiny 2. Lloyd Lightfall. Lloyd. <laughs> Lightfall. <laughs> Show down. Crests are glory. Glory is yours. Oh. Yes, Warlock. You are destroying them. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do with that. Fantastic work, Hunter. Tight. Your light is blinding. It's time, Guardian. Crush them. Yes. Guardian Games. Ciekawe. Age of Wonders 4. U. Co teraz nam tutaj pokażą? Smoczki, nie smoczki. Do 
elegancko, Age of Wonders. Get the premium edition now. World of Warcraft, Dragonflight. Oh. You trespass in Shikar territory. A to nie widziałem, że tak w trailer zaraz zwoła. Feast upon the elemental power below. The drag there will succumb to the temptation and unleash the aspect's darkest nightmares. The situation is dire, Queen Alexstrasza. Can you not hear Neltharion drawing us to Abarus? This is our battle to fight. For the Alliance. For the Horde! <laughs> Oh lol. I won't let you lead our people to ruin Sakareth. Okay. Ethereal Echoes of Your. Lol. Oh, who's that? Czyli taki bardziej village builder z eksploracją. Prawda? To jest jakieś wszystko dla tej części. Wiktory! Wielki pająk tam był. O. Et trial. Ok, ok. The Dead Await Prologue. Kiełbaski, hot dogi? Mm. Show, show gunners? Tak, show gunners. Brzmi jak show runners. Lepiej brzmi. A tu mamy bronie, więc gunners. 
O, twórcy Hard Westa. Hmm, Wajby trochę apexowe, też widzę. GDM, Japanese Drift Masters. Ooh. Yo, yo. Soon. Chivalry 2 Raid right Party Update Bridge Town No i pogówca. <laughs> okay. Rated E10. Double Rated Dragon Gate and Rise of the Dragons. It's a dragon! Double dragon. After us.
Enshrouded. So the darkness. Awaken. Let the fire in your veins guide you. For you shall have nothing else to survive. No food or comfort. Until it is earned. The ones before you were fools. They pillaged the earth for a magical elixir and unleashed a ruinous blight. My newborn flame. Master the staff. The bow. Ooh. The shield. And the blade. For in the fog, weakness is a feast for the mighty. Cast yourself into the rude beauty of our world. Unlock her secrets. Shape the earth. Dive into the shroud. Seek treasures and ancient wisdom. Build, not for yourself, for you are not alone. There are others waiting for you to raise a village or a kingdom. Craft arms worthy of legend. And ignite your skills. Flameborn, call upon your allies and together take back your crown. Chrono Odyssey. Okay. Shroud. This is what means to end shrouded. Fajne ruiny. Jakieś świątynie. Chrono Odyssey. To jest MMO? Jak się daje. Ja, MMO. To 2.4 ma wejść. Od N Pixel. Hmm. Ciekawe. Kurde, ładnie to wygląda. Holy crap. No ale zobaczymy jak, jak dostarczą. Uuu, to jest jakiś taki asasyn. Spoko.
Ooh, nice booba. No ładnie wygląda, naprawdę. Takie trochę inne. Ja się tutaj cofanie czasu, stopowanie czasu. Zobaczymy. Zobaczymy jak dostarczą. Czym to się je? Doomkeeper. Przepraszam, dom, Hitler, nie dom. Idziesz na basen, a później festyn a w Parku Święto Pieroga. Uuu, ciekawe, ciekawe. 18 tysięcy pierogów? Tem, ładnie, ładnie. No to powodzenie, Angela. Powodzonka. Planet Vlana. Święto Pieroga, ciekawe. A to, to jest spod... z ten? Z Krakowa? Aha. Punch Club 2. Fast forward. 20 years ago, a really tough guy punched his way to glory. It was really awesome, but then he vanished and things really changed. But now it's the future and things are run by a morally ambiguous corporation and everything. Ah, w Kotuniu dzisiaj są. Gimme a Kotun. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the fighter management sim Punch Club 2. Fast forward. An upcoming title by developers Lazy Bear Games. Inspired by all-out 80s and 90s awesomeness with a hilarious branching story, Punch Club 2 is sure to be even punchier and clubbier than ever. Punch Club 2 Fast Forward is a fighter management sim with RPG mechanics where you aren't actually the one fighting. It's this chump here. So experiment with fighting schools, strategies, and abilities because remember, no one's gonna punch you. You're responsible for managing his fighting career, planning his match strategy, and training him. Good luck. <laughs> When preparing for a fight, the first thing to consider is which fighting school you want to select. There are three basic fighting schools that focus on strength, agility, and stamina. Before a fight, you can select what attack and defense moves you want to use. It's a viable strategy focusing on defense and any unused slots will allow your player to recoup energy during the fight. 
By combining styles with attack and defense strategies, players are able to create a unique fighting style. Study your rivals closely, and when you see a weakness, use custom combinations of skills, boosts, and software to micromanage the fight before it starts, and then sit back and watch the results of your efforts. But you can't expect him to just jump into the ring and prepare to fight him. Jeez. You gotta train him first. Or not. This is Punch Club 2, so it's up to you. Now, there are multiple ways to increase your strength, agility, and stamina stats. We'll look at the old school way first. At the start of the game, you'll have access to a dusty old mat, but soon you'll be able to buy, unlock, and access more training equipment to speed up the process. But the best thing? It's mostly free, which is exactly your budget. It just takes time, which is limited. But there's a quicker and more effective option. Neuro training. Welcome to the future. You can get hench without lifting a finger. Want even quicker progress? No problem. We're proud to introduce extreme neuro training. <laughs> extreme neuro training. Extreme neuro training. neuro training potentially turning your brain into a slimy soup or worse, or giving you the brain overload debuff before a fight. It's also kind of expensive, which means it's time for our unemployed hero to get a job. Money is one of the predominant mechanics outside of fighting and training that you manage in the game alongside time, hunger, good person points, energy, and our hero's happiness. But lucky for you, the Undercity is filled with greed, so you can work for a grimy gang, the Mafia, or even Yakuza during the early game. Oh, cool working passively increases your stats. Like, for example, working at the noodle restaurant will increase your agility stat, whilst earning you some sweet, sweet moolah. You can work for multiple organizations, but you can't be in two places at once. At least, not in this game. Another way to <laughs> is to Punch Club country coming in 2077. <laughs> for winning a fight. But if you really want to get your money's worth, talk to Bobo Jr. about illegally hacking the fight. Meaning bigger wins, but also bigger losses. And that brings us to time management. It's up to the players to create the best strategy to manage these aspects as they progress through the game. Carefully choose and plan when to carry out the essential tasks like eating and sleeping, or supplement these with food and drinks that provide a small boost to these stats for a price. Turning up to a fight hungry, tired, injured, or depressed is not going to cut it. You need our champ fighting fit to avoid any debuffs going into the fight. You also need to turn up to the fight on time. It would be an embarrassing loss of good person points. Now this may seem like a lot to compute, especially if you've taken as many hits as this guy has. But don't worry, officer. you'll be operating like a well-oiled machine, keeping our guy happy, rested, and fighting fit. Why work so hard to help this guy? It's a valid question. You gotta feel pretty bad for him because his mom didn't let him leave the house for like 20 years. And his father mysteriously vanished and everyone, like a weird amount of people, always want to fight him. But if he wants to solve the mystery of his father's disappearance, he's gonna need a lot of GPP and a lot of help from you. So don't be a chump. Wishlist Punch Club 2 fast forward now. Right now. <laughs> pięknie, pięknie. Soul Survivors. The hour has come to witness the return of a fellowship of valiant heroes. Violent heroes. These were once spoken in hushed tones of reverence and awe. Their souls have been summoned once more to embark on a perilous quest to restore order and tranquility to our embattled land. Du, 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 du. Pięknie ludziska, pięknie, pięknie i na tym odcinek to tyle, także jeszcze raz dzięki wielkie za oglądanie i widzimy się już niedługo w kolejnych. Trzymajcie się.